Okay, today I'm going to show you how to do squeeze bottle art with glass. And before we even start, I want to um, say that at any time a dog or a cat may interrupt this video. So, just warning. So, when you get the kit, they're going to have these squeeze bottles that are pre-made for you. They have a powdered frit, which is um, glass that's really finely ground up, almost like sand with a water and then CMC, which is uh, kind of like what they would make like gum paste or um, <clears throat> use that when making like uh, flowers when decorating cakes and stuff like that. It's also going to have a piece of glass. It won't, it'll be bigger than this. Um, this was just a scrap I wanted to use as an example. It will also probably come with some uh, frit also, which is pieces of glass to decorate with. So the first thing with these squeeze bottles is if you um, squeezing them and nothing comes out, they may have this seal in them. Okay, so to start, all the colors that I'm showing you today are transparent, which means that you can sort of, you'll be sort of be able to see through them, except for if I use any white or black. So the first thing you want to do is kind of shake your, take the cap off, um, this clear cap, and then you'll want to shake the bottle down. And you can see I have this set up like on a plate, I have a cup and I have that on top of it because it kind of helps to start the squeeze bottle somewhere else just to make sure you're not making big gobs. So I'm just gonna squeeze some of this on here. Now you can, you know, do actual designs. Um, So you could draw, you could do like a, a heart, or you can kind of go abstract, which I'm kind of going to go abstract here. Now, if the squeeze bottle kind of stops working like it is right there, I usually pound it down on the table, shake it up again, start it down there, because sometimes it'll just like explode all over the glass. Otherwise, if it kind of gets stuck, you can take the cap off and you can take like a needle or something and uh, you can unclog that. This one looks like maybe it needs to have a little bit of the tip cut off. So get out some yellow. Now this will spread a little bit because of the water in there. So I'm just going to keep going, making my <clears throat> design. And then I'll check back in when I have it almost finished. Another thing I should also add is if you think that this is too thick, you could also add um, a little bit of water to it. Um, and you could also, too, if you want to just cover a bigger area, you could take the cap off and blob it on there. But then you'll want to somehow not make it quite that thick. 
So I'll be back when I get this all covered. Okay, so now I have my whole entire piece of glass covered, and I did forget to tell you in the beginning that um, you should probably just take some Windex and clean the glass before you start, um, just because we'll be sanitizing everything, and I plan on using like bleach or whatever, and um, I don't know what that will do in the kiln. So now that I have it covered, I can either leave it like so, or I can take something like a fork, um, a knife, um, anything that you can drag through the colors if you want to. So I can kind of just drag this up. Across. So we're kind of making those Kind of like string art in a way. Don't worry about like using your forks um, from home. Obviously, wash them really well. You don't want to eat glass. But okay. So you can just see there's some different design here. Now this is just an example. Um, you know, you can go in circles. You can do whatever. And then it usually leaves little spaces, so kind of just... Do this and you can even out those spaces like right here is one where you can see through. I could also just take my fork again and kind of cover that up. I could also spray it with some water to kind of make it more flowy and spray it with some water and then do this. So another reason why I had why I like the idea of putting it up on a cup like that or something is that you'll want to clean the edges. So make sure that the edges are clean and obviously be careful. It's an easy way to cut yourself here. It is glass. So I'll clean up those edges. And then I'm going to let this dry. Now, depending on how much color you have on there, it could take a day, it could take two days before it's going to dry. And you'll know when it's dry because it will feel like dry sand. Um, it won't move around. It will be like one solid piece, but it'll be like sand. And I've heard other people um, putting them in their oven at a low temp to dry them out, probably a hair hair dryer, any of those things might help to dry them out. And so the next thing I'll show you is what it looks like dry, and then um, I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out of the kiln. Oh, but also before I do that, I forgot to tell I did say that I was gonna include frit, so if you wanted to add, so this is some, Frit here. This is a uh, opal um, turquoise green. So this is not see-through. Um, you know, you could add some of this to the piece for maybe a little interest. So it's not all one smooth piece. So I can add that, maybe put some orange in there, 
kind of looks like a mountainscape with maybe some flowers dotted on there. Okay, so now I will let it dry. Okay, this is about halfway through the drying period. Um, I just took the hair dryer and kind of dried it. And you'll notice as it's starting to dry, it will look more sandy than it does liquidy. And when it's fully dry, it'll kind of have more of a white cast to it. Now, something I also forgot to mention during the video is obviously, um, if you get this on your hands and stuff, like don't rub your face because it is like, uh, you know, sharp glass and it's almost like exfoliating your skin. And obviously don't put it in your mouth and eat it because it's glass. So um, when it's done fully drying, I'll do another take. Okay, and here it is dry. You can see it is more of a lighter color once it dries and it has like a white cast to it. When you feel it, it will be hard. Um, this one's a little soft yet because I used my blow dryer to dry it. And um, like right there, that's a cat hair. Um, it will burn out in the kiln, so I'm not gonna try to dig it out. One of the things that you could do before you start this is if you wanted to draw a design on the glass using like a sharpie you could draw the design and then color it in from there the sharpie will burn off so now i'm going to go put it in the kiln and i'll show you what it looks like when it's done